My name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. Not just because I'm showing you some cool things, but I feel like today's my first real day of break. It is Saturday, December 17th. Technically, finals ended Wednesday. Um, I haven't been feeling great. I had four grad applications due Thursday night, so I spent it at nine hours on Thursday doing those. And then yesterday, I was grading for the class I TA for pretty much all day. So, I'm finally free. I'm finally in the clear. <clears throat> Still have a cough, but that's okay. We're getting there. Um, today, I have a small business tackle for you all. I'm so excited to show you some goodies from these small businesses. Um, just to be completely honest, some of this stuff was gifted, and I will indicate what was gifted, what was discounted, and what I just purchased on my own. So um, I will have everything linked down below if y'all are interested in checking out anything from any of these shops. Um, <clears throat> one of them in particular is a Colorado business, so super local, which is great. So let's just get started. I have everything in this bag here. I've been kind of compiling things um, because some things I ordered came in separate packages and I don't know, I just want to do this all in one shot. So, um, without further ado, let's just get started. First up, I have quite a few goodies from Millbrook Leathers. Millbrook Leathers is a local Colorado company um, that makes stirrup leathers that are a little unique um, and specifically made for leg stability. I hate my stirrup leathers. I hate them with a burning passion and when I was selected to be an ambassador for them, I was so excited um so i have a few things from them um first things first i've already worn this too many times i could not i could not wait um is this stirrup this is not a stirrup <laughs> the first thing i got is this bit buckle belt um it is nice and silver and sparkly it has a nice little single jointed egg butt snaffle here for the closure. Um, the closure is not super secure. You can kind of just simply pull it in and out, but because this belt is elastic and fully adjustable, um, it kind of holds itself closed, which is really nice. I love this thing. This has been one of my new favorite belts. I have one main belt that I've been wearing, um, and that is my tailored sportsman belt. I have a few C4 belts that I don't love for a lot of reasons and I don't support the company a ton anymore just because of some instances in the past. I could talk more about that later if y'all are interested but basically I was kind of down to one belt I was willing to use um, so I was so excited. This is absolutely adorable. I will have this link down below. It's probably too late to order for the holidays but um, Millbrook occasionally has additional sales like 25% off and regardless I think this is $20 something like that so really really affordable great quality like I said fully adjustable comes in a ton of different colors if y'all are interested in checking these out next from Millbrook is a pair of black gloves um these black gloves are pretty simple um I do not know if these are fully leather but they feel pretty similar to Raquel's um they are also relatively affordable. I want to say these are $30 or $25 and you can get them customized if you want. Um, you can pay, it's either like five or $10 extra for them to be dazzle. The top here, you can have them do your name, different logos, that sort of thing. Um, I just went with standard black just because I was not sure if these would become work gloves, schooling gloves, show gloves. So I just thought, let's just, let's just keep them nice and simple. Um, if I love them though, I will definitely go and go, whoa. Once I wear them and if I like them, I will definitely pick up another pair um, a little bit more customized because I think that option is great. They come in full sizes, so to my knowledge, they didn't have half sizes available. I typically wear a size six in gloves and I round it down, sorry. I typically wear a size six and a half in gloves and I round it down to a size six just because I'd rather have them be a little bit snug than too loose, so. Um, do with that what you will, but these also come in a few different colors. 
They also sent me some socks, which I was not even aware they sold socks, but these are super cute. Um, they are red, have the little white top part that is striped with their logo on it, just those Millbrook leathers. I love these socks. I mean, I haven't worn them yet, but by the feel of them, I feel like I'm gonna love them. If you've ever worn socks, I feel like those were a thing in like 2012. I don't even know if they still exist anymore. Um, the socks that had like a thick sock around your foot and then the top was really thin. No, those weren't socks. Socks were thin all the way down. I love those because of how like elasticated they were, but they worn out so fast. This feels like a much thicker version of that. Um, so thicker, but still like elasticy and I don't know, it, it, this is not cotton. I don't know what this is, but it definitely is not cotton. I love these. Um, I'm very excited to try these out. I think these will be great for winter. I'm at the point where I've just given up on basically all riding socks because they either just sag down in bunch if they don't go all the way up to your knee or if they go all the way up to the, your knee, typically the top half of it is that super thin, crappy, thin material. So lately I've just been wearing like the $1 super short ankle socks from Target. Don't recommend it, but there are worse things. Um, so I'm very excited about these because they are thicker and go all the way up and they aren't cotton so they don't feel like they're gonna wear out super fast. Um, they're also gonna be kind of warm. So nice little balance. I thought the red was super cute and if you need some great new riding socks, I'd highly recommend checking these out because just by the feel of these, I might need another pair. Alrighty, next up I have a pair of stirrup leathers. I am so excited for these. Um, these are the brown stirrup leathers. I think these are a size, oh my goodness, 45 inches I wanna say. Um, I, I honestly don't remember. They came in centimeters. Oh yeah, 125 centimeters. What's that conversion? Okay, these are 49 inches, so that's a, that's a good length. My current stirrup leathers or my current jump leathers are 48 inches, um, and they're a pretty good length. I'm like nowhere near the top, I'm nowhere near the bottom, I'm pretty darn in the middle, which I like because if you get too close to the bottom, the tail, you can't stick under your little loop, which is a bummer. Um, and I'm also definitely on the shorter end, so if anybody needs to ride my horse, having some just a little bit longer will be nice. But like I said, the main thing about Millbrook Leathers that makes them unique is their thickness. So as you can see, they have this wide panel here before it gets thin again. This is where your leg, your calf, your thigh, your knee is going to be pressed against. Um, this is just going to allow you to balance off of this thick panel a little bit more, have a little bit more leg stability just because you can lean against this. And as you can see, it's about one and a half times as thick as a normal stirrup leather. So this is the tail, which will go through your stirrup. Um, and of course, because this thin panel extends all the way, it will allow your stirrup to slip through, which is nice. The little tail also has their little metal logo emblem, which is absolutely adorable. I'm very excited to use these. I've never actually owned a pair myself, but when I'm riding like other people's horses for them. Um, I've definitely used quite a few pairs of these and it's like riding, it's like a dream. So I'm so excited about these. Um, huge thank you to Millbrook Leathers for sending these over. I am so excited to try these out and let y'all know how I like them on my own saddle. So moving on from Millbrook, the last two things I have are from Sister Sue's Closet. This is an Etsy shop I found that I had to, I had to get a few things from. The package they sent over was absolutely adorable. They sent a little nice note with a thank you slip um, that just says, thank you for shopping with us. We'd love to be tagged in your photos at Sister Sue's Closet. Um, yeah. As you all may or may not know, Penelope is now down with me at college, which means there's an indoor, which means I can ride her year round. Um, back home, up in the mountains where she's been since we've had her. It's a lot harder to ride year round um, just because there's no indoor and we live kind of near Vail, which is basically snowy from like middle to November, even end of October all the way until March. So you really don't do much riding at all, except for the occasional, maybe once a month you trailer to an indoor, which basically means she very rarely has a bit in her mouth. But now that we're riding year round, I need it a bit warmer um, and I found one from Sister Sue's closet and had to get something else. So um, everything is packaged up all nice and cute, just like this. 
and some tissue paper. Oh, this is so cute. Um, so I ordered one of their bit warmers, like I mentioned, and it just looks like this. I picked out the brown plaid. I thought it was nice, simple, classy, um, and something that I'm also gonna kinda like for a long time. I made a bit warmer years ago for myself, and it was so tacky, it was so tacky. Um, so the instructions, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at this little tag. This little tag is absolutely adorable. It also comes with a business card as well if y'all are interested in checking their items out. Um, so this first little panel here is the bit warmer part. This is made or filled with rice. Um, and it just says, heat the rice pouch in the microwave for 60 seconds. Quickly remove and replace into the fleece bit warmer. Um, always make sure to check the temperature of the pouch. So um, you just heat this up. <clears throat> you place it inside of this little holder here. And then this will wrap around your bit and you can Velcro it around your bit. So while you're getting ready, um, you can actually get ready effectively without holding your bit in your armpit while you're trying to brush or whatever it is. Um, we do have a microwave at my barn, which I'm very, very grateful for. This will be great. I will actually probably use this today, so I'm very excited about this. <clears throat> also, how adorable, how adorable is this? It has the little logo uh, kind of printed into here. This is already, I can tell, this is super great quality. It's like padded or something in here as well. Um, the Velcro is stitched on very, very nicely. And I wanna say this was like, $12, $15, relatively affordable, which is great, so. And the last thing I have to show you all today is another item from Sister Sue's closet. I have not opened any of these. <clears throat> and these are a pair of matching stirrup covers. Um, so they match with the bit warmer. They have the plaid padded on one side and their fleece on the other and then they are fully fleece lined they're elastic so they can nicely stretch around your stirrups and then you don't have to worry about your stirrups scratching or rubbing your saddle anything like that while you are using them um <clears throat> i was debating getting ones that matched my stirrup cover or sorry i was i was debating getting stirrup covers that matched my saddle cover a little bit more but they didn't really have any that i loved and i don't love my saddle cover i love the quality of my saddle cover i got it from saddle jamies by Susie like years ago i don't even know if they're still in business anymore um but it really needs a wash and it used to be this like nice beautiful cream and purple color and right now it's just kind of worn out and dirty um so i just i don't know i like these i thought they were cute they'll be under my saddle cover anyways um and I thought it'd be nice to match this. So these will be great. I ordered a new pair of stirrups that is coming from England, I think, Europe, somewhere in Europe. Um, that should hopefully be here kind of soon that I'm very excited about. And I really figured I only needed these for my jump saddle. My dressage saddle right now is synthetic. I hate it, but it's synthetic. And I have plastic stirrups, so I don't really have to worry about them rubbing at all. Um, but I thought these would be good for my jump saddle. <clears throat> like I said, I will have everything linked down below if y'all are interested in checking any of these items out. Um, a huge thank you to Millbrook Leathers for sending me over the leathers and the socks and then the discount on the other items. Um, and of course, Sister Sue's Closet. I love their stuff already. They have no idea who I am or that I'm making this video. So um, I did purchase these with my own money, but I thought, I don't know. I'm going to get good use out of this stuff. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you on my next video. Peace out. Bye.